it is I Love Leo Season 2023 with me loving me. Hello everyone and welcome to step three of I Love Me 2023. <laughs> we are on step three and I am up this morning. I slept in just a little bit but the sun's not really up. It's kind of a cloudy day but that's okay. I am so sore from the workout that I did yesterday. I am so completely sore. It's a beautiful soreness. I love it. I'm going to rest today. I, do, I don't believe that I have a workout today. Although if I do, I will push through it and get it done because I, I don't know. I feel like I can. I wouldn't push my body where I don't feel like it can go. But yeah, I'm excited to do step three. Step three is all about I believe and I'm so excited to be here. I'm excited to be getting this stuff done. I'm excited to be doing it. Yesterday was an emotional day. I had a very intense emotional day with my inner child my inner child cried i cried we cried we hugged we loved it was all about love i really feel like i'm growing so much i don't feel like i'm an expert no more or that i'm trying to get to expert level by any means but i feel like i've grown a lot to where i feel like i'm getting the actual deep meaning the deep understanding and meaning of this self-love journey what it means to love myself so that i can love others and be the best self that i can for others but honestly loving myself for myself first so that's where i'm at that's where i'm going with this stuff i really am excited i'm happy to be here i feel so blessed to be able to do this work and to be able to work on this work I just woke up. It's morning time. My kitty cat's here. <laughs> kitty cats are showing up. I'm loving me and I'm loving this journey and I'm loving you for going on this journey with me. So I can't wait to see you guys on the other side when my step three daily work is done and to tell you all about it. So today is I believe step three. So I believe in loving me 2023. <laughs> And I will see you guys on the other side. With my little kitty cat right there. What do you think, kitty cat? What you think, Mr. Kiki? He thinks I'm going to eat some grass. Eat some grass here. <laughs> anyway, guys, see you on the other side. Hello from the other side of step three. I'm so grateful I got my step three journaling done today. It was good. Had my Venus retrograde journal prompt from Serious Joy. And I was able to get my journal exercises done and look back on last year. One thing that I found very interesting with my journal exercises this time, I thought that maybe my heart and my mind have been on board because for the last couple times I've done the serious joy exercise my mind and my heart are more on board it seems that they're not so much on board anymore um I think that the relationships within ourselves are just like the relationship without ourselves in that it requires work and it requires to keep checking in and it requires you know because Honestly, I can't be like, I love you heart and then just move on with my life and abandon my heart in every way and like constantly do things for other people and never do things for my heart. Like, yeah, my heart isn't going to feel love. My heart isn't going to be on board with me and what I got going on. And my heart will probably self-sabotage me, which I've done many years of my life. I've self-sabotaged, self-sabotaged, self-sabotaged. People don't understand whenever they're demanding me to do things that they want me to do and telling me to just completely that the stuff that I want to do is irrelevant it's not necessary it shouldn't be done today we need to do my thing today they don't understand that what they're asking for is for me to self-sabotage them down the road because what I'll do is I'll do their thing and then I'll just it'll, it'll, unconsciously my heart because I abandoned her she comes out and says F your thing you said F my thing so F your thing you know and I don't quite realize what's going on then I feel massive guilt because I'm like that's not who I wanted to be I wanted to be someone that could show up for you and to be there for you but here I am not showing up for you not being there for you or being there for you in a horrible toxic way 
yeah, it just doesn't work. It is far better for me to say, M my heart is not in that, and I, I wish that I could help you tomorrow. It would be better for me, and hopefully people will understand that. And I'm finding that they do. And, you know, it's the, like I was saying at the beginning, the relationship with ourselves is like relationship with others. You've got to communicate. You've got to keep communicating. you got to keep checking in. You build that relationship. You strengthen that relationship. So my mind and my heart are not really on board. It's strange this year because all the previous years I had a manifestation goal from the very beginning that I wanted to work on. I don't have any manifestation goal. I have complete trust and faith in myself and the universe that I can manifest anything that is meant for me in this life. And so it's strange. I expected my heart and my mind to be more on board with each other, but they really weren't. And another thing that I noticed with this exercise that I've never put step two and step three together, but if I look at step two and step three, the things that um, I, on step two, I felt love for, the steps that I felt love for and I felt safe and secure in and I felt really good about, those are the steps that literally my heart and my mind are on board together. And the steps that I, my, I didn't feel as good about, my mind and my heart aren't quite on board together in those steps anymore, in those states of awareness anymore. So that's what this work is all about. And you know, I love how it's not about, like I can notice that my heart and my mind are they are just not on board. They were more on board this time last year because you know, I can go back and see last year's journal stuff too and see that they were more on board this time last year. And I don't think that that means that I've lost growth. I still think that I've grown. And I just, I love how this day isn't about fixing the problems. It's just about looking at them. Tomorrow's not about fixing the problems. It's about looking at them from another aspect, another direction. And it, it shows, like, I, that's one of the things I love about astrology. The planets move so slowly. It shows you, you don't have to be in a rush all the time. In fact, I really start messing things up whenever I get in a rush. So it's important that I understand that I do not have to rush this process. It is what it is. My mind and my heart aren't quite on board with every aspect. There's some that aspects that they are on board with me. That, and that's okay. We are where we are right now. And that's a beautiful thing. Looking at this stuff with zero judgment and zero self-criticism is so important. Adding love is very important too. So yeah, lots of self-love. Not so much self-criticism for these 40 days. And I'm loving it. And I'm, I'm grateful for the work that I got to get done today, and I'm grateful for the journal prompts, and I'm grateful for serious joy. And another thing, and during this Venus retrograde, I am one of those type of people, I used to wear makeup all the time, I like wouldn't go out the door without it, but then I had my kids, and I, it wasn't that I had my kids necessarily, it was more that I wanted to love my natural beauty, I found that I didn't love my natural beauty anymore, like I thought that I had to get up and put on makeup before I was even pretty. So I wanted to fall in love with my natural beauty and so I quit wearing makeup and I did fall in love with my natural beauty and then I didn't want to wear makeup anymore for years, years, a good decade of my life. I did not wear any makeup. And then um, as I started doing 40 days, I realized that my heart loves makeup. It loves stuff like that. So I, you know, I do my glam makeup, lots of glitter. I have to have an excuse or if the excuse could just be my heart wants to and I'll put on makeup. But um, I was watching a video about this Venus retrograde from one of my beloved influencers and um, Bahati Life. You might want to check her out on YouTube. She's awesome. But Bahati Life, uh, she was saying during this Venus retrograde, if you're the type of person that wears makeup all the time, you might want to consider not wearing makeup and getting in love with your natural beauty, which is a beautiful thing. But if you're one of those that does not wear makeup all the time, you might want to consider wearing makeup. And getting in touch with, you know, the beauty that you can create on yourself, the creative beauty that makeup can be. And so I thought that I'd take it to heart. Definitely not going to try to do my makeup every day. I'm way too lazy for that. But on the days during this Venus retrograde that I'm feeling it, I'm definitely going to get in there and do my makeup because it's just, I don't know, I want to get in touch. You know, I'm trying to find that balance of natural beauty and 
creative beauty and you know I understand that my beauty is within but I like to have it without too so I you know I'm just working with that in this 40 days and Venus retrograde 40 days I love how it's all syncing up it's so awesome but anyway that's what I'm doing guys and I think it's pretty cool I think I have one more thing I wanted to tell you guys today but I don't think I'm gonna think of it right now seems like it is a in my mind and I don't want to. Hey y'all, I just wanted to cut in here real quick because of course I would remember what it was I wanted to talk about whenever <laughs> I was trying to remember earlier. I would remember later. Okay, so yeah. Um, I just wanted to add to this vlog that step three um, of the 21 day goddess version or journey with the exercises is a relaxed day. It's a day to think about your possibilities and I just love how that ties in with the 40 days because step three is about checking in with your beliefs and it's your beliefs and uh, your beliefs are so tied in with your possibilities. So yeah, I did a little possibility journaling today also and no exercises, just relax that body and I'm so enjoying the relaxation. So yeah, that's it. Get back to the video. <laughs> I don't want to take up too much of y'all's time on this vlog. So, I think that'll be it for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for being here. As always, be blessed with love.